hello, welcome back to the channel. Yes, here we are again. Unfortunately, we couldn't stream yesterday. Um, yeah, due to a busy schedule and other important things we had to do. But we can stream today. In the morning I was busy as well, but... Right now we still can do the TV recap of last Wednesday of Group B. And we're going to do it. Normally it would be on Saturday, so yesterday. But it's going to be today. So. Um, and as I said, because I was busy, I couldn't enjoy uh, couldn't enjoy the endurance race this morning of 11am. So there wasn't a stream of that as well. Sorry about that. But as I said, other important things to do. So yeah. We know the format, of course. Uh, how this is all uh, run. It's two races of 20 minutes. Um, first race is on the medium tyres. The second race... <laughs> he did this. <laughs> the second race is on the soft tyres. It's no tyre wear, no fuel rate. And it's just simply flat out sp uh, sprint races. Uh, we're going to run you, first of all, through the championship order. And when we've done, when we're done with the championship order, we're going to show you how the qualifying of 10 minute went and who's on pole and who starts where. And the uh, results of the first race is going to be the starting order for the second race. That's all we have to tell you. So first of all, let's run you through the championship order before these two races. And we'll have to go to the right one. No, that's not the right one. So this one. We can see Shouty is already a champion because he can't be beaten anymore right now. He has 125 points. And as this says on the top right, that means you know, f uh, four worst results can be scraped. So you can throw them in the bin. And... His three worst results were still first positions, but without a fastest lap. So he's definitely the champion already, because nobody else can do that anymore. We have Debris in second, with 70 points. Then we have Irux. Oh, that's wrong, by the way. Irux is second. Uh, it was a bit of a mistake, uh, because it wasn't... Stop doing that. Uh, because it wasn't sorted uh, at the last column. So it's actually Irux in second with 81 points. Then we have Harmsma in third with 76. Then we have um, VR6 in fourth with 74 points. And Debris fifth with 70 points. And then we have Bill with 63 points in sixth. Fifth. Then we have Ran. In 7th with 63 points as well. So that's quite close. It's close everywhere. Except for 1st and 2nd place. Um, behind that it's absolutely ridiculously close. Then we have number X34 in 8th with 51 points. Oh sorry excuse me about that. That has to be Dion with 56.4 points. And Peter is Peter. Number X34 is... Uh, Ninth with 51 points. And then we have Evo with four. If not, sorry about that. And then we have DR3 raising in 10th. As I said, this whole column is over here on the right side. Wasn't sorted, so doesn't look that good. But I talked to you the right order right now. So let's get into the gameplay. I'll show you that. Here we have that. We can't see who is on pole yet. <laughs> no, we can't. <coughs> but we're going to run you through that order to make sure you know who starts where and who still possibly can overtake someone for the championship and who's competing this race. So we're going to see. Luan put it on pole position. His first pole position as far as I believe in the sprint races. Amazing stuff. Nicely done. You've shown your real speed right now. Then we have Shouty, the champion of Group B this season. In second. Then we have Irux. 
And number three, doing really good as well. And a second in the championship. Then we have Honosmai, I believe, third in the championship, starting in fourth. Then we have Dude the Fisser, nice job, putting it in, in fifth. And then we have Dion. Well, Dude the Fisser isn't in the top ten, I believe, but okay. Then we have Dion doing a really good job and got into the top ten because I believe this is his first season with uh, with with race team Walters. Then we have Chris Fierce, 28, normally a Group 8 driver, starting in 7th. Then we have number X34 in 8th. Then we have Debris, all the way in 9th. Oh, that's not going to be good for his championship. Then we have Dutch in 10th. Yet again, only with a cannabis leaf on his rear window. How do you call that? His engine cover window screen, whatever. Then we have Fiat 6 in 11th. A little bit far down for his standards. Then we have Paul GT3 in 12 and ran all the way at the back in 13. So we have 13. We only have 13 competitors this time around. Oh. Um, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for race number one. Yes. But as we know, of course, first of all, a little bit of a zip. A little bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Ah, I want my baby back, baby back. <laughs> oh, how you back, how you back. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. They okay. Now, we need the headset, of course. Now, let's get you ready. <clears throat> ready, 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 steady. It's going to be a rolling start. Normally, it should be a standing start for Group B, at least, as far as I believe. But they chose for a a standing start of a rolling start again. Ah, here we're going to go in. Takes a little longer. Three, two, one, go. Here he comes into the first corner. Is anybody going to make a move into the first corner? We can't see any yet because there's a rolling start, of course. Somebody pulls out of the slipstream of somebody, but I couldn't see who it was. And here it comes. Who goes to white over there? That's Dion. Dion goes a little bit wider. Chris Fierce 28 is right on his tail. And let's go a little bit further up front to see the battle for first place. Eriksen, Harosma fighting for third place. And Shaudi and Luan fighting for first place. Here they're going to come. Number three, four, and five. Eriks, Harosma, and D. The Visser. To the bust-up chicane here, they're going to come into the background, there's a battle as well. It's going to be a huge slipstream battle, and is it possible to go to the outside over there for Hansma? Oh, that's going to be tight, no it's not. Then we have Dion still a 6 in front of Chris Fias, 28. Let's go a little bit further up front, we don't see any damage and don't see any crashes yet. Shaudi is still behind Luan <coughs> in second, then we have Irux in third, then we have Hansma in fourth. <coughs> then we have D the Visser in fifth, Dion in sixth. Chris Fias, 28 in seventh, then we have number X, 34 in eighth. Then we have Debris in 9th. Then we have Dutch in 10th. Then we have Fier 6 in 11th. Paul GT3 in 12th. And Ran all the way still at the back. Let's go all the way up front. And let's see that battle for first place. Here we go. It's going to be exciting. Oh, we can see Luan pulls a little bit of a gap over Shaudi. And Irux, Hanusma and Dita Vizera are coming closer. Or closing up to Shaudi for second place. Oh, somebody went wide there in the background. We can still... Oh, there is a bit of a gap between... Oh, Dion! No, Dion did not make the pass. They have the same livery. Sorry about that. Oh, nearly the same livery. The Divisor has a white livery and Dion has a grey livery. Nearly indistinctable. <laughs> nearly the same. <laughs> Indistinctive from each other. That's the word I was looking for. Here we have Irux closing up the Shaudi. And is it possible for Irux to pass Shaudi, the champion, of course? Oh, somebody went wide over there, somebody goes out! It's Dion, into the wall! No! Oi, 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 Dion, what are you doing? Is the damage, yes, left, left rear suspension damage. We'll have to see what happened to him. It's the replay! Let's get a ball. Back, 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 ready, back. Out of the uh, first corner. No real, real pressure from behind, but pressure. Uh, probably goes a little bit too wide over that big curb on the outside. And if you go a little bit too wide, you have that little kink over there. Yes, 
a little bit too early on the throttle, and he's going to hit the barrier over there. Loses out to Chris Fierce, 28, and loses out to Debris of number X34, and here comes Debris. And is it possible for Debris to pass him as well? Yes, possibly because of the damage. Yes, Debris is gone as well, and is Dutch going to pass him? Let's keep an eye on the timetable and the mini map if there's going to be any passes up front. Fierce is a penalty of a full second. Here comes Dutch on the inside into the bust of Chicane. Is that possible? That's going to be tight. He thinks better of it and lets him go. But that makes everybody else behind him close up. Oh, and Dion nearly goes again. He goes again. No, he's losing out 11th place, 12th play. Oh, he's back in 12th, nearly all the way at the back. His damage is repaired because of time. That's how that works in GT7. Let's go all the way up from... Oh, he comes again immediately. A dive on a pole. GT3 on the inside. And... Fia 6 is going to have that penalty, but I can see better a little bit further up front here. Between Homsma and D. Divisor. D. Divisor is on the inside of Homsma. This is for fourth place in the race. And who's in third right now? It's Shaudi. He looks past him. Oh! A lot happening! It's the replay! Let's see how that happened. How did Erux get in front of Shaudi? Back, 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 and he back. Oh, he's behind here. Um, Dieter Fischer already passed Hansma over there, so we have to see that again as well. Oh, big wiggy 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 over from Luan over there. Coming out of that uh, long right-hander of left-hander into this tight right-hander. The shouty went a little bit wide. Erux is on the inside, and it is possible to overtake over there. Oh, and there was a big slide there from Shouty. And that's how he got into second place. Shouty back all the way, back to, all the way, back to third. But now we have to see the instant replay. Because D. the Fischer and Hamsma fighting for fourth place. Where did that start? Back, uh, back, uh, back, Andy, back, uh, back, uh, back, back. Into the bust up chicane. Oh, ho, ho, that's Derry. We saw Dion, of course, there on the background, having that trouble out of the first corner, hitting the barrier, had some damage. Here it comes on Hamsma. D. the Fischer tries it on the inside. Is that possible? They break just about the same point. He keeps it on the outside. Is he going to do the switch back? No, he does not. Hausma leaves the space over there. That's nicely fought between you two guys. Uh, let's go TV cam and Hausma keeps it on the outside, but it's not possible to, to hold it over there. D. Defensor goes a little bit deep into this long left-hander. That's going to give Hausma a better exit, and they're still side by side. And of course, in the foreground, we're going to see the battle between Shaudi and Irux. And Hausma is on the outside over here. D. De Fischer is going to leave him the space on the outside. Coming out of this tight right-hander. Here they're going to go. Side by side. To another right-hander. And Chris Fierce, 28, smells an opportunity as well. And D. De Fischer on the outside. Is Chris Fierce, 28, going to profit of this? Oh, that is a huge slide from D. De Fischer. And that makes Hausma come back for fourth place. And is in fourth place right now. D. De Fischer... And Chris Fierce 28 is right on his tail. Whoa, a little bit of a touch over there and a big, 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 big wobble. <laughs> Exciting stuff. <laughs> the pace is good. The fighting is good. It's fair. It's square. It's square. Fair and square. <laughs> Whoa, somebody went white a little bit over there. Coming out of the last corner, it's Debris. He's right on the tail of number X34. But can I make that pass into the first corner? But possibly on the outside over there. Is that possible? Whoa, nearly goes to white. He's right on the tail. Oh, somebody got a penalty over there. Who's that? That is Paul GT3 with half a second penalty. But let's go a little bit further to front because we have that battle, of course. Not for first place, not for second place, not for third place, but for fourth place. Between Hansma and the Fischer. Here they're going to go again, yet again. And Hansma takes the defensive line compared to the other lap. And the Fischer on the outside, but it's going to be inside over here. And Gazi's... Is he possible to make that move? And Chris Fierce 28 is right on that tail as well. And is it possible for Chris Fierce 28 to make that move for fifth place? Because D. Defizer didn't pass Harmsma. No, it's not. But we can see he's fast. And because of all that fighting, number X could close up. And oh, Debris on the inside over there because of a little bit of a mistake of number X 34. And passes him for seventh place. Nicely done. Opportunistic, but did it. Good. And Defizer went a little bit wide over there. But it's faster than Hansma, as we can see. Whoa, touches the grass coming out of that tight right-hander. Here they come. Debris is faster than Chris Fee is 28. Doesn't break that late. And in the background, they're fighting as well. But let's keep an eye on this battle. Because the number one, two, and three are gone. But I can see Shaudi is closing up to Irux. 
We still have Hamsma in fourth, Dean in fifth, Chris Fees 28 in sixth, in sixth, Debris in seventh, number X in eighth, Dion in ninth. Oh, came back all the way to ninth, and here they're going to go side by side into the last corner. Oh, and VO6 tries to profit of that as well. Let's go a little bit further up front because that battle is still not done for fourth place. The defensive taking a nice line over there. And oh, uh, oh Hartersman goes a little bit too wide over there. Here he comes. The defensive already passes him. And then we have Chris Fierce, 28, who tries to pass both of them. They're three wide into this chicane uphill. And Chris Fierce, 28, is the biggest benefactor of that. Holy shit, that is really nice. We'll have to see that again. Pitch the replay! Take a look at that. And we're still not done yet, because we're going to go to the bus stop chicane, and they're still side by side. A side by side, and a side by side. Let's get a boat with Chris Fee is 28, as we can see right now. Here it comes. The defensive takes a nice line. Hobsma goes a little bit too deep into the first corner. Goes wide over there. Doesn't get a penalty, but gives the defensive the opportunity to go on the inside, but slows him down a little bit. And as you can see, Chris Fierce 28 has the best exit out of these three. He can squeeze himself in between those cars, perfectly executed. And there we can see Debris of uh, D. Deficit and Chris Fierce 28 side by side. And behind that, Harusma and Debris. Wow, and who's gonna break the latest over here? Is D. Deficit gonna think better of it? Yes, he does. And behind that, we have Harusma and Debris are side by side. Oh, and Debris losing it. And there is nearly a collision with number X and Dion. He drops all the way back to ninth, all the way back to 10th, because Dutch is, on the, is outside, but he can just about keep ninth place. We'll have to see that again. It's the replay! <laughs> oh, what the hell happened over there? As we saw, coming out of the right, left, right, uphill. Side by side with Harusma. Probably he's going to touch the inside curb a little bit too hard. Of uh, the first part, yes, he. Oh, he hits the wall. That's what happened. And Number X has to cut the grass over there. Maybe he gets a penalty because of that. Dion is still behind him. Here comes Dutch on the outside of Debris, but cannot make that move stick. So let's continue a little bit further up front. Oh, and as you can see, Number X does get a penalty uh, that because of that. And Dion tries it on the outside of Number X right now, but better get, should better of should think better of it because now you're gonna make that mistake. And he has already a half second penalty. So why, why would you make that? Move stick already. Of course, you're gonna gain, but you're gonna lose as well when you fight too much. Here he comes with a half second penalty. Dion can pass him right now for seventh place. And he's in eighth place. Is it possible for Debris to pass him as well? Is he gonna try it on the inside over here? He thinks about it, but doesn't make the move stick. Let's go a little bit further up front. We have Dee Deficit right on the tail of Chris Fierce, 28 for fourth place. Let's go a little bit further up front. There we have Irux and Shaudi. Oh, sorry. And Shaudi still fighting for second place. Lu one is nearly gone, but still in sort of a touching distance of Irux and Shaudi. Then we have that battle for fourth place over here. Seven minutes into this race, 13 minutes to go. There they come towards the first corner. Who's going to be the bravest on the exit over here? Because that's really important. And if you're in the slipstream, you can make that move into the bus stop, but it's always risky over here. Always risky, risky. Here he comes. He probably has the perfect slipstream right now, or just not. We can't see, but Hamsma pulled the gap over Dion. So there isn't any battle over there. The defensor cannot make that move. Oh, we hear tire screels from Hamsma. And as you can see, the defensor is faster into this long right hander. Tries all the way to the limit, but Chris V is 28 even more. Let's see a little bit further back. Hausma still a 6. Then we have D on a 7th. Then we have Number X in 8th. Debris in 9th. Dutch in 10th. Paul GT3 in 11th. Ren in 12th. And all the way at the back, we have Fia 6. Let's go all the way up front. Here we have Luan. Irux and Shaudi. Shaudi is right on his tail. Here he comes. Probably into this corner. No, not yet. He thought about it. We have that battle behind here as well. For, oh, that's going to be a penalty for Shaudi. He went too wide out of that corner. And that's definitely a penalty. As long as you do not lift. And there it is. Sure. Why not? <laughs> ay, 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 Well, that's going to drop him back. Except if he can pass Irux and get in front of him. 
A bit of lag from uh, Shaudi in this race. Chris Fee is 28, is still in fourth. The Visser is still in fifth. Hardesma is still in sixth. Dion is still in seventh. And the Marex is still in eighth. What is a tight battle behind here? Jesus bloody Christ. But first of all, we're going to see this, uh, this fight. And I don't think it's going to be a fight into the bus stop. So we're going to look a little bit further behind here because Chris Fee is 28. Indeed, the Visser are right on his, each other's. Right on each other. And is it possible for the visitor to make that move into the bus stop chicane? Here he's going to come into the inside of Chris Fias 28, but he doesn't have the overspeed. So it's not possible. Then we have Harusma, Dion. Any other big battles over here? Oh, full second penalty for Debris. That's going to lose him out massively. Oh, and a huge, of a huge drift over there from Dutch. And that's going to give Paul GT3 the opportunity to pass it for 10. No, it's not. Let's go a little bit further up front again. Because we have that half second penalty for... Shouty, and as we can see, after this right-hander, this tight right-hander at the bottom of the circuit, he's going to serve that and lose touch with Irux. Let's go a little bit further back. Then we have the visitor and Chris Fierce, 28, still fighting over fourth. Fourth! <laughs> and a little bit further back, we have a lot of battles here. We have it side by side. Who's that? That is Paul GT3 and Debris. Debris all the way in 11th right now. His race isn't really going well. At a certain moment, I believe we were seventh. They're fighting for sixth and fifth. Let's go a little bit further up front again. Beep, 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 beep. And as we can see, Luan is gone. Then we have Iruks and Shaori. Then we have Chris V is 28, the Fizzer, and the Fizzer made a little bit of a mistake because suddenly Hansma is right on his tail instead of the Fizzer being on the tail of Chris V is 28. Uh oh! It's going to be exciting yet again into the bust up. Is Hansma going to make that move? Is Dion going to make that move? Because he's going to get a double slip stream, and it looks as if Dion is closer to Hansma than Hansma is to the Fizzer. But none of them can make that pass. And let's see a little bit further back. There's going to be a big pass from Ren on Debris on the outside into the bus stop. No, he cannot make that stick. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, that was Dario Risky. Let's go a little bit further up front again. <clears throat> oh, that was a little bit too far. Here we have Chris Fierce, 28, the Fisser, Arnoldsma, and Dion fighting for fourth place. Let's, let's keep a close eye on the video. No, Shaudi is backwards. No, the number three in the race is backwards. What have you done? No. It's the replay. Let's get on board with Shaudi, the champion. Because there's no pressure anymore. He put more pressure on himself. Because he probably wants to win every single race, logically. That's why you compete, but did he went a little bit too early in the throttle? No, we lost it into the entry. Oh, and good throttles out on the grass. No, that's a bit clumsy. But this is easily done with this Ferrari. I kid you not. When you come into this corner, and especially this tight right-hander, because it's uphill and you trill break in, as you can see right now, Shouty is doing. Um... Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna slide that car. He catches it really nice, goes a little bit deep with the slide, but goes a little bit too early on the trial as well, and spins out another time. And that's gonna cost him even more. He drops all the way back to seventh, and to eight, and to ninth, into tenth. Oh, nearly at the back. Luckily, no damage for him, so we can immediately pick up the pace after his tires are clean. But, yeah, let's keep an eye on Shaudi and see if he can recover. And here we have Dion on the outside of Hansma trying it in that, into that corner. That's a risky one. Hansma left the space. But everything else is still in the same order except, of course, Shaudi dropping all the way back. And this fight is now for third place. <clears throat> so we have Chris Fierce, 28, in third. D the in fourth. Hansma in fifth. Dion in sixth. Then we have Number X in seventh. Behind that, we have Dutch in 8, Paul GT3 in 9, Chowdy all the way in 10th, Debris in 11th, 
Red in 12th and Via 6 in 13th. All the way up front. On his own. Luan having an amazing pace. Ridiculous! <laughs> Irux all on his own in second. In no man's land. And here we have that battle for third place right now. That's going to be a podium for one of those. And the divisor right on his tail of Chris Fias 28. If Chris Fias 28 makes just a single mistake, as he does right there, the divisor sees the opportunity and seizes it and tries it on the inside. A little bit of a touch over there, but fair enough. What a move. Nicely executed. Perfectly done. We'll have to see that again. Let's get him up with D-Divisor. He saw that opportunity. Why? Because Chris V is 28, guys. Going to make a little bit of a mistake coming out of this. Uh, the the last part of the bust-up she came. He went, uh, he went a little bit too hard over the second inside curb. This is the first inside curb. And he went a little bit too aggressive with too much steering wheel of a steering angle over that second curb. Drifts out a little bit too wide over there. It's not that much, and maybe he chose that line to take that line, but the Visa saw the gap, jumped into it. That isn't even a touch. Perfectly executed. Nicely done. D the Visa in third right now. Then we have Dion in fifth. Oh, he made the pass on Armsma. We'll have to see that as well. Gonna vote with Armsma. Back, back. Back, Eddie, back, 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 Eddie, back into the first corner. Holy shit, that's dairy. Ay, ay, ay. Here he comes at the last moment on the inside. Harusma leaves him the space. They're going to leave each other space. But Dion is the better line. He can have a great exit. So it's not possible for Harusma to pass him again. What? Let's see the progress of Shaudi. How far is he? He's still in 10th behind Paul GT3. And there's still a fight between Ren and VR6. But let's go all the way up front again because we saw that overtake, of course, of D. Defizer on the inside of Chris VS28. Here we have Dion in fifth right now. Almsmeyer in sixth. Number X in seventh. Paul did. GT3 is Shaori made the pass on Dutch for ninth place, so he's recovering. Is this the tightest battle we have? No, I believe it's still between Chris Fias 28 and D Divisor for third place. But <clears throat> let's go a little bit further up front. Yes, this is still the tightest battle we have. And the most exciting one. Ooh, I believe Luan had a bit of a moment. Coming out of this corner. We can see Irux is closing up on the minimap. Oh, and Dion has a half second penalty. Probably went a little bit too wide. In one of the corners. It's really easy to get a penalty over here. That's ridiculously easily done. You have D Defissa trying to break the slipstream of Chris Fias 28. Smart move, Chris Fias 28 isn't following him. And here he comes, he breaks a little bit later, he's right on the tail and throttles out really aggressive, right on the tail of D. Defisa right now. Can he make that move and get he benefit of the slipstream at the right moment? Because when you're in these fast left of the right left right handers, you cannot, he tries it on the inside, D. Defisa tries to block him but was a little bit too late. Now he is on the inside, can he do this? No, he cannot break late enough. Fair racing. Well, this is going to give Dion the opportunity to close up. Although he has a half-second penalty. And Hamza went a little bit too wide over there. That's going to be a half-second penalty minimum for him as well. In three, two, one. There it is. Oh, yo, 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 yo. And Dion couldn't profit of the fighting between the Fizzer and Chris. Oh, and the Fizzer goes a little bit wide over there. And here comes the... After this corner, Dion and Hamza are going to serve that penalty. <coughs> Here they come, and that's going to give number X the opportunity to close up to them. Oh, and we see that battle still really close together for third place between the Fisher and Chris. And let's keep an eye in the background as well. We have Dion, Harusma, number X. 
And that is a really tight battle. Here we have Paul GT3 in 8th and Shaudi in ninth. Is it possible for Shaudi to recover a little bit? Because we're already nearly 16 minutes in. Only 4 minutes and 8 seconds, 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 5 seconds to go. Let's go a little bit further in front again. <clears throat> oh, and here we have it! Into the first corner! Here he, here he comes! Chris Fierce, 28, on the divisor for third place! And he breaks way later. Is he going to make the corner? Yes, he does. Perfectly on the apex. But there's a little bit of a push from the division over there. Ho, ho, ho. Derry move. Risky Derry. But done it. I want to see that again. It's the replay. The division make a little bit of a mistake. Coming out of these corners. Or oh, there. Chris Fierce 28 take different lines. He got a bit of a better exit over here. Is it going to take a tighter line or a wider line over here? No, exactly the same, but throttles out a little bit earlier. No, he does not. But well, he's going to do that over here, probably. Oh, the physics goes a little bit deep. That's why. That's why Chris Fierce, 28, has the momentum, passes him, or is next to him on the straight, and he's going to break later than the Divisa. And the Divisa lets it go. He thinks better of it. And wants to lose minimum time, but pushes Chris Fierce, 28, a little bit into the corner, and that didn't help. So that's going to give Dion the opportunity to close up again and is in the slipstream as well and still on the fight for third place. Almsma still in sixth. Number X still in uh, seventh. And then we have Paul GT3 still in eighth. So that means Shaudi, the champion, is still in third. And here we have Dieter Fischer and Chris Fierce 28 with a defensive line into the bus stop. Who's going to take this the best? Is it possible for Dieter Fischer to dive on the inside yet again? Over here, no, it's not. And as you can see, they nearly have the same livery. Only one is dirty grey. <laughs> oh, and here he comes to the inside. He tries it, D Divisor, but goes a little bit deep as well. And Dion tries to profit of that. Is on the inside, but that's going to be the outside for the next corner. And D Divisor thinks better of it. Thinks at defensive line, parks it on the apex, and now it's not really possible for Dion to pass him. But that's opened up a gap for Chris Fierce, 28. This fight for four plays. Here comes Dion into this tight right hander on the inside. He makes the move stick and he does it. Do not run too wide because you're going to get another penalty. The defensive tries to old switcheroo over there. It's still on the outside, but it's difficult over here. That corner doesn't really work two by two. And this is a fast left hander. The penultimate corner into the last corner. And the defensive all the way back into fourth, over into fifth. That was nearly a podium. Come on, Divisor! <laughs> Terughengelen. <laughs> Woordgrap. <laughs> oh, and he has a good entry and a good exit as well. It's probably possible to get in that slipstream. Any other big battles behind? We can't see any passes on the timetable on the left side. We don't see anything happening in, on the minimap. And is that possible for Divisor? <clears throat> to make that move no he's a little bit too far back to make a move into the bus stop chicane is anybody going to make a mistake because it's a risky corner this one no they do not but they're still really close and the fizzer has faster or is faster into this corner does he have a good exit as well he does nice entry speed nice control over there he looks a bit faster than Dion, but Dion is faster than Chris Fierce 28 as well. And there is a huge battle probably forming up behind here as well. Number X still on 7. Then we have Shaudi. Shaudi back to 8th. Shaudi made the move of Paul GT3. <clears throat> he tries to recover in this race, of course, because of that big mistake he made. But let's keep an eye on this battle because Lumen is still in the lead and Erux is still in 2nd. But those two are gone. So the tightest battle we have is for third place. The whole race already. Between these guys. And oh no, the Visser would have a second penalty. No! Why? Nearly at the end. And is it possible for these three guys to make another lap? Yes, it's possible for them to do another lap. Who's going to finish first? Because we have Haramsma. He can do another lap as well. He's sixth. Then we have number X. Can do another lap. Then we have Shouty. He can do another lap. I believe everybody just about can do another lap. Even Fia 6, but probably not Dutch, because Dutch is all the way at the back. Can he make the finishing line of the finish line? 
before he runs out of time. Barely. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, he can. Okay, bleep. Let's go all the way up front. There we have Luan, Irux, Chris Fierce 28. And here's the 5 4 fourth place between the visitor and Dion and the visitor tries it on the outside into the bus of Chicane, but cannot make that pass stick. And he has that half second penalty, of course, so that was absolutely important to do. Is it going to drop back into the clutches of Holmesma? We're going to see, because this is the final lap we're on right now. Soon we have to switch to Luan, and the defensive of the visit is faster than Dion at this moment. But as I said, he has that half second penalty. Oh, that's costly. Really costly. Let's keep an eye on the background as well and on the mini map. And let's keep an eye on Harasma if he can close up to the visa. Not fast enough to make that pass for fifth place. So I think everything is settled right now. Oh, it goes a little bit deep over there. And let's get to the leader. Because he's in the penultimate corner right now. <clears throat> Here we have him. From start to finish. From pole position. Luan coming home first. Nice victory. There we have Irux with another solid race coming home in second. Then we have Chris Fierce 28 coming home in third. Dion coming home in fourth. Nice recovery, Dion. Then we have the visit coming home in fifth. Unfortunately, could have been better. But Hamsma in sixth, number X in seventh. Then we have Shaudi in eighth. Unfortunate for him as well. Paul GT3 in ninth. Debris in tenth. Unfortunate race for him. Ran. Uh, um, <laughs> climb up the ladder two places and then we have Fia 6 in 12th and Dutch all the way at the rear in 13th <whistles> oh, yeah, 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 guys a lot of battling exciting race not up front for first and second but eventually for third place because Shouty made that mistake wow 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 <laughs> wow 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 Let's immediately load up race number two. Here we have it. This is going to be race number two. Beep, 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 beep. Then we're going to take a small intermission, a small toilet break. And then we're going to continue with this one. Then I'm shortly going to run you through the order. Let's play the replay. Let's pause it. Let's get on board. <clears throat> so this already is... Nearly ready. Un momento, por favor. Oh, okay. Be right back. Back, 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 but we're going to see that at the end, what the championship standings are, after, of course, included the scrape results. Here we go again. I'm going to display everything and we know of course Luan won the last race he's on pole position for the second race and it's going to be racing softs so they're going to race a little bit faster than the last race they're going to have more grip so should be more exciting well 
You don't know. Less grip would be exciting as well. Maybe try the hard tyres. <laughs> ID. <coughs> but we have Irux in second. And we have Chris Fias 28 in third. Then we have Dion in fourth. Then we have D. De Visser in fifth. Harus Meyer sixth. Number X in seventh. Shaori in eighth. The champion, of course, of this uh, season already. Let's see how far he can recover. Paul GT3 in ninth. Then we have Debris in tenth. Ran in eleventh. Fia six in twelfth. And Dutch all the way at the back. So here we're gonna go. In. Takes a little longer, of course. Three, two, one, go! Here they're gonna go into the first corner. Yet again, a rolling start, so it's not gonna be that exciting. Into the first corner, because everybody has the same start as everybody else. Here we see Chris Fias 28. Oh, and Dion outbreaks himself. Nearly slams into the back of Chris Fias 28 and immediately gives fourth place to Dita Visser. And who else can benefit of that? Then we have Harmsmart just behind him, right on his tail. But he cannot profit of that. We have number X and Shouty really close behind each other. And there is still a bit of lack of Shouty. He shovels all over the place. He tries to bump draft him. And here we have Dion immediately on the outside of Dita Visser into the bust of Chicane. Can he make that stick? Can he make that happen? No, he cannot. Oh, can he? Yes, on the outside. What a move. Holy shit, balls of fire. <laughs> that is a daddy one. Oh, and Dita Visser immediately on the inside with the cut back. With the old switcheroo. They're side by side coming out of this corner. Who's who's going to be the bravest? And they're still side by side into the second of the uh, the other. Oh, this is a tight left hand there. And then we have Harmsma, Shaudi, and who's that behind that? Shaudi number X and Harmsma fighting for... Fifth place, now sixth place, and it's going to be all for fourth place. Jesus bloody Christ, everybody's all over the place. <laughs> Here we have it. Shaudi and Harmsma of number X still fighting. They have the same color scheme. It's not easy <laughs> to see who is who. But we'll have to see that move again from Dion and the Visa. Whoa! It's time to replay! First of all, all the way back to the start, because we're going to see... Dion outbreaks himself. Uh, it's gonna. Uh, wow. Dion outbreak himself massively into that first corner, and there we go. Start saying into the slipstream. We see D the Visser behind, and he's gonna break way too late compared to the others. Nearly slams into Chris Fierce, 28. Takes avoiding action, and D the Visser is immediately on his inside. Then we have everybody else behind here as well, closing up because of that mistake. He's right on his tail. Does a little bit of a bump draft over here, I believe. Yes, he does. But D. Deficit, of course, not. Of, yeah, he's not in the slipstream of the guys up front. And Dion comes out of the slipstream right now. <clears throat> on the outside, breaks later. What a brave move. And let's continue here, because we can see D. Deficit immediately. Tries it on the inside. Let's get a boat with D. Deficit. Holds it together. <clears throat> they give each other enough space. And they're fighting over second place as well. A little bit further up front. And Dion is on the inside. But the defensive breaks a little bit later over here. But goes a little bit deep. And Dion has the better exit. Because of that. And that's how he kept fourth place. Now let's see how everything pans out behind. Hanusmaier still is sixth. Then we have number X still is seventh. And Shouty still an eighth. But they're fighting over every inch of Tarmac. Oh, Shouty on the inside of number X right now. Side by side into the tight right hander. And number X is so on back in eighth, and Shouty is in seventh. Here he comes again. Number X on Shouty. Can he make that move stick? No, he cannot. Does Shouty go a little bit too white? No, he does not. Debris tries it on the inside of number X. Oh, that's going to be Derry over there. Oh, yo, yo, a little bit of a touch of Debris. But Debris is still behind number X. They lost a little bit of ground to Shouty, but let's go all the way up front. Let's see that. Luan is in the lead. Then we have. Irux in second, then we have Chris Fierce 28 in third, a little bit of a gap to Dion and Dita Visser for fourth place and Hans Ma is still on the slipstream, Shouty is still on the slipstream so there is still fourth place minimum possible for Shouty. There we have the battle for eighth place between number X and Debris and I believe number X went a little bit wide over there and Hans Ma made a mistake into the first corner and gave Shouty the opportunity to pass it for sixth place. We'll have to see that again. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, everybody. Let's get a ball. Back, 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 any back. Here we have Shouty with a better exit out of the last corner. And let's see if... Let's get a ball with Shouty and see if Hansman makes a little bit of a mistake. Does he go a little bit too deep? He, got, he does go too deep into that first corner. And it's not the first time he's done that. And immediately Shouty, pass, uh, Shouty passes him for sixth place. 
because of the better exit. And then we can see behind as well, number X and Debris still fighting over the 8th. Who's going to be the bravest into the bus stop chicane? This is the tightest battle we have. Number X puts up a defensive line. Can Debris do it on the outside? <clears throat> no, he does not. Let's go a little bit further up front. Because that fight for fourth place is still not done. We know D. The Fizzard is the strongest in the infield. Into the long corners, he's really good. As you can see right now. Oh, Shouty with a full second penalty. No, dude. That's going to drop him back all the way, I believe, behind number X. Minimum and probably behind Debris as well. So it's going to be all the way in ninth, maybe even tenth. Here he comes with a full second penalty. Harusmark passes him. Number X passes him. Debris passes him. All the way in ninth, maybe in tenth. The Spall GT3 is next to him as well. Yes, all the way back in tenth. Oh, yo, yo, shouty, what are you doing? Well, let's go a little bit further up front. Oh, here we see battle for seventh place. Debris on the inside of number X. And now he does make the move stick. Let's go a little bit further up front. Oh, and here we can see number X yet again. A repass on Debris. No, we cannot make that happen. Oh, and Debris goes to wide over there. They're side by side into the penultimate corner. And Shouty tries to <laughs> join the battle as well. And Debris with a half second penalty. And what the hell is going on? Three wide on the straight. Debris, Shouty, and Paul GT3. And Debris is still in the slipstream. Are they going to go four wide into the first corner? Holy shit, boss of fire. Debris on the outside. Shouty pushing him wide. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What was happening over there? But Shouty made that pass. He's back in 10th right now, of in 8th, coming from 10th. <laughs> what happened? It's the replay! It all started with Debris making that move on number X into this corner. Here he comes. We have Paul GT3 and Shouty behind. <clears throat> and here he dives on the inside of number X, pushes him a little bit wide. That's not really fair, but okay. Paul GT3 tries to benefit of that, but pushes number X on. And that's why number X can profit of that. He's on the inside. Debris goes a little bit too wide. This is going to give him that half second penalty. Number X is on the outside of Debris right now. Shouty profits of the uh, mistake of Paul GT3. It's a knife right now. They both slam into the wall. Sure, why not? And that's going to give Shouty and Paul GT3 the opportunity to go three wide on the street. But Debris has the slipstream over here, so Shouty cannot really pass him on the straight. Goes a little bit. Deep into the brakes and they're still side by side over here. But Shouty has the shorter line into the right left right hander up the hill. What the hell? <laughs> that was exciting. Luan's still on the lead. Erux is still in second and Chris V is 28 is still in third. And here comes Shouty on number X. He fakes to the outside but tries to get on the inside. But number X still puts up a defensive line. He cannot pass him over here. And let's go a little bit further up front. Let's see. Ah, the, oh, the Fizzard has a penalty. And... Did Chris VS28 make a mistake? Because Dion is really close behind him right now. I want to know. I want to know. Let's see that again. Is it a replay? Okay. <laughs> back, 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 Eddie, back. No, he just lost time. Nothing special going on. He lost time to Luan and Erux, probably on pace. I didn't see any major mistakes so far. But Dion and the Defisa right on Chris Fierce 28 his tail and this is going to be exactly the same fight for third place yet again the same as race number one and we saw that battle happening behind here and Hardest uh, yet again in sixth who's going to break the latest it's Dion who breaks the latest and it's the bravest but can I make that pass yet and soon the Fisher is going to have to serve that penalty after this long right-hander, you have a long left-hander. And then you have a tight right-hander. Then you have the penalty line. And as we can see, Irux doesn't want to let go of... Oh, and a full second penalty for uh, number X34. And a half second penalty for Debris. We saw that, of course, yeah, already. But there goes number X. He's going to drop back all the way behind Paul GT3. And Debris as well. Paul GT3 jumps two places up to eighth. Now let's go a little bit further up front because that battle is still going on. And oh, Dion Pass, Chris VS28 for third place. Is that replay? <clears throat> we want to see how that happened. Okay, back, 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 get back. Yes. We can see it happen. Did Dion have a better exit out of this tight right hander? 
the defensive, of course, behind is going to serve that half second penalty. He does. Chris Fierce, 28, went a little bit wide over there. Dion immediately in the slipstream. Is he going to do the same as he did to Dee Defensor the last race? Yes, at the last moment, he's going to dive into the inside. Perfectly executed. Boxing on the apex, throttles out fast enough. Chris Fierce, 28, can't do the old switcheroo. And the, on the outside over here, it's nearly impossible to overtake. Except if you're already side by side. So that puts Chris Fierce, 28, back in fourth and Dion in third. And Dee Defisser now in the clutches of Halmsma. And behind that, we have Shouty recovered the seventh. Paul DT3 in eight, Deputies in ninth, Number X in ten, Via six in uh, eleven, Dutch in twelfth, and ran all the way at the back. And is that battle on for first place? Here we are. Luan into the first corner. No, it's not. Irux, Dion, Chris Fias 28, tries to cut the corner as much as possible, tries to get out of the of, uh, on the throttle as fast as possible. Difficult over there because of the outside curb. It's a little bit. Yeah, sure. That makes it clear. Not! Mm. The defensive puts up a defensive line to block off Harmsma into the bus stop chicane. Harmsma wasn't close enough to make that move. Let's see a little bit further back if there is any battle. Shouty has free air right now, so he can blast towards number six and number five. Then we have Paul GT3 closely followed by Debris. Number X. I believe this is the closest battle we have, but we're going to go a little bit further to front because I can see Luan and Eruks really close together still. And is Eruks faster? He does have a purple sector, so that means he's the fastest right now on track. Unless somebody else even goes faster than that. <clears throat> and we can see that. Shouty is closing up to Harmsman. No, he's not. Oh, the Chris Fias 28 went a little bit too wide over there. Let's see if he gets a penalty. And that should be right now if he, did, if he did went too wide. No, he did not. Okay, good enough. Let's go a little bit further up front. I want to see. Does Eric... Is Eric going to make the fast lap? Fastest lap. Is he going to do the fastest lap? Wow, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> nope, he does not. And we have Dion in third. Chris Fias 28 in 4th, the defensor Harusma, they're not really close to each other, Shouty in 7th, and here we have that battle, Debris and Paul GT3. Debris passed uh, number X already, and is now looking for the opportunity to pass Paul GT3, here they come out of the last right hand out of the uphill section yeah, right in the slipstream he fakes to the inside and or fakes to the outside tries it on the inside but cannot do it and breaks way too late goes way too deep over there what an opportunity move oh yo 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 that was a bit too much debris that was a little bit too much that was too much take a look at that here he comes into the slipstream <clears throat> Now Paul GT3 puts up a defensive line right now. Debris fakes to the inside, tries or fakes to the outside, tries the inside, gets a little bit of a push, breaks way too late, goes way too deep. And that's gonna lose him out. Ninth place, tenth place, and all the way in on eleventh uh, right now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that battle is done as well. <laughs> oh shouty with a huge drift into this long left hander. Let's see. Oh, Eruks all the way in fourth. What happened to Eruks? No. The guy in second place hunting for first place this race. It's that replay. <clears throat> what did you do? Why are you back in fourth? Why? Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Let's keep it on board. As we can see, Dion all the way over there. Did he went a little bit too fast? Yes. Oh, he has that same problem as so many people had already. Or you're going to hit the first curb, or the second curb, or the third curb a little bit too hard, and then you're going to run white. It's going to spin out the car. As you can see right now, he's going to cut the chicane on the inside a little bit too hard. With a big slide already, and that unsettles the car so much and so hard. He's going to drift wide, drift wide, drift wide, and he's going to lose uh, second place, and now he's going to lose third place, and probably he's going to lose fourth place to... The visit as well. 
<coughs> ay, 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 Irux. You could have won this one. Goes a little bit too deep over there. The Fizzer is fast in these corners. We know that already. Can the Fizzer make that move into this tight right hander uphill? It has a sniff on the inside, but cannot make it happen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Irux, what are you doing, man? So we have a tight battle for third place yet again. But this time, Dion is second. And. Chris V is 28, again in third. Whoa, runs a little bit wide over there. Is that, that a penalty? Is that a penalty? We're going to see quite soon if it is. No, it's not. Luckily for him yet again. So Irux in fourth. D. Deficit in fifth. Harus by sixth. Shouty still in seventh. Then we have that fight for eighth place between Paul GT3, Number X, Fia 6, Debris and Dutch. And ran all the way at the back. Whoa, a huge slide over there from Dutch. But let's get all the way up front to that battle for third place. <clears throat> we want to see who finishes third. Can Irux recover? Can he do it? He still has 11 minutes to go. So it should be possible. Well, we can see Luan is gone. Gone into the distance. And Dion as well. As long as those two guys do not make any mistakes. The upcoming ten and a half minutes. They will win. We hear tire squeals, but we don't see anybody spin out. But we can see Irux is faster than Chris Fierce 28. He's closing up and the Fisher is losing a little bit of touch over there. But as I said before, he's fast in these long, long, long corners. Oh, and Dion has a half second penalty. No! Oh, that's a really, really difficult corner over there. And that's going to put Chris Fierce 28 uh, right back on his tail. For sure. Here he comes. And Eric's going to try to move into this tight right hand. But that's not possible over there. Is Chris Fierce 28 close enough to Dion to get into his slipstream again? No, it's not. And Holmes Maas pushing D the visit along. <coughs> but it's a tight battle. And it's even for second place right now. And we can see Irux is faster than Chris Fierce 28. And that battle for fourth place is still going on between D. Divisor and Harzma. We have a huge string behind here as well. <laughs> and if they start to battle, Sh uh, Shaudi has an uh, opportunity to race for second place as well in this race. Ho oh, oh. ho! Exciting! Mm. Here he comes, Irux for third place on Chris Fierce 28. Is uh, Chris Fierce 28 gonna defend into the bus stop? No, he does not. And Irux is on his inside. Is this possible to make that move stick? No, it's not. Too risky, too dairy over there. Oh, tire squeals all over the place. Nothing on the hand so far. Oh, somebody else is spinning out. Who's that? The Vizzer! No! No! Somebody spun out. I saw it on the minimap. There's a replay! I'll have to see that again. The Vizzer, what are you doing? No, dude! Is it going to be the same mistake Erox made as well? Is it going to be the first curbstone or the second curbstone? First curbstone, exactly what Erox had as well, but a little bit deeper. And it's going to lose him out to 5th, 6th, and he's in 7th place right now, drifting onto the track. But the gap uh, between 7th and 8th place was too big. So overhaul for Paul GT3. But the Fizzer all the way back in 7th right now, unfortunately. Ay, 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 ay. And he's in no man's land. That puts Shouty back in 6th. Harusma in 5th right now. And Uruk still on the tail of Chris Fierce, 28. And Chris Fierce 28 still tries to hunt down Dion, but Dion is that tiny bit faster. So Chris Fierce 28 hopes for a mistake. Nobody goes to wide over there, that's good, so no penalties. And Erics is right on the gearbox of Chris Fierce 28. Can he make a move soon? He looks left, right, and center. Oh, Chris Fierce 28 goes a little bit wide over there. A tight line. Oh, that is a huge drift over there because Irux went onto the grass. 
into the last corner. Ho ho! All together, but loses ground. Carlos Mayer fifth, Shaudi in sixth. How far can Shaudi recover? He still has uh, seven and a half minutes to go. Here he comes on Harmsma. Luan still in the lead. No threat for him. Don't make any mistakes. Shaudi right on the tail of Harmsma. Here they're going to go into the bus stop chicane. Is Harmsma going to defend? No, he does not. Shaudi tries it on the inside. No, he does not. Slots in behind. Thinks better of it. Oh, Harmsma goes too deep yet again. Is that possibility for Shaudi to make that move? No, it's not. He slams into the rear of Harmsma. Holy shit, but there's a half second penalty for Harmsma and now he can. What a weird, weird sort of an accident. Let's see that again. Into the river. That's a bit weird how that unfolded. Back, 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 any back. Right in the slipstream of Harmsma. Here he comes. But the slipstream just isn't enough for Shouty to make that move on the inside. So he slots in behind. They break just about that same point, but Hamsma goes a little bit too deep in the second part of the bus stop. And because he drifts all over the place, Shaudi couldn't make a decision to where to go. Hoped Hamsma would <laughs> slide somewhere, but he didn't. Hit him in the rear and eventually passed him on the exit of that long right-hander. And with a half-second penalty for Hamsma, it's going to drop him back. And probably cannot fight for fifth place anymore. So Shaudi back in fifth. Nice recovery so far. Oh, and Dion with another penalty, probably. I want to see that. Did he have another penalty? No. Oh, he tried to break the slipstream over here. That's why he moved all the way to the right side of the track. Okay, I thought he had another penalty. He didn't. Another 6 minutes and 15 seconds to go in this race now. And the battle for second place is still not done. <clears throat> that is a huge fight behind there as well. Let's see that huge fight. Oh, Paul GT3 with a penalty. VR6 is right on the steel. And number X between these three guys. And that is a tight battle between Debris and Dutch as well. See if there's going to be any moves into the first corner. No, it's not. So let's go a little bit further up front again. <clears throat> Why did you flash over there, Dion? Oh, he takes all the risk in the world. Oh, and that is a huge drift from Hirux. In the bus stop, and Dion took all the risk in the world to take the bus stop as fast as possible. Whew. And Chris VS28 has a solid two races so far. With the best two races so far, we must say, are from Luan in the lead. Here he is. Then we have Dion in second, Chris Fierce 28 in third, then we have Irux in fourth, putting the pressure on Chris Fierce 28, Shaudi in fifth, Harus Meyer sixth, then we have Dita Fischer with yet another penalty, half second penalty, then we have Paul G3 with a penalty, and Fierce 6 is going to pass him right now into the tight right hander, or before the tight right hander already, Paul G3 back in ninth right now, number X in tenth, then we have Debris in 11, Dutch in 12th, and ran all the way at the back. Here we are, oh, and Dion with another half second penalty. No, dude! Sure! Why not? <sighs> Just keep it exciting. Hmm? For second place. He only has 4 minutes and 10 seconds to keep that second place. Chris V is 28, still in third, but he's gonna close up to Dion with that half second penalty. Irux cannot pass. Chris V is 28. Not this lap at least. And we have Shaudi who tries to close up for second place or third place right now, but it's gonna be second place as well because Dion has another half a second, half a second penalty. And to the bus stop yet again. Oh, Nerox tries his best over there to keep it together. 
takes the same as Dion, all the risk in the world. Uh, we're going to see Dion slow down soon. Two corners to go. And then we have that penalty line and Irux is faster into this left-hander. Compared to Chris. Here we're going to see that half-second penalty coming up for Dion. Oh, Chris goes a little bit deep, but parks it on the apex, so Irux cannot benefit of that. Here he comes. And they're going to close right up the tail to Dion yet again. And Erox tries it on the inside over there. Into the tight right hand, but cannot make that move stick. Because Chris Fierce 28 breaks lead enough to make sure he cannot pass. There we have Dion. And Chris Fierce 28 is right on his tail. I think we have two laps left after this one. By my calculations, are we... Yeah, they're gonna go. This is gonna be for se uh, second place. It's gonna be a slipstream battle between Dion, Chris Fierce, 28, and Erux. And Shouty nearly in the slipstream. Can he close up enough, Shouty? For an opportunistic move for second place into the last lap. There's the slipstream battle, but nobody can pass anybody. They're all a bit too close together. Erux had a little bit of a sniff, but couldn't make it happen. He tries different lines, tries it on the inside right now. Oh, Chris Fierce 28, and that is a little bit of a push to pass, but leaves enough space to Chris Fierce 28. And a side by side right now into this tight right hand that they have been at the bottom. Oh, and Chris Fierce 28 is going to make it, but has a huge drift over there. Can Erux recover and do the old switcheroo? He's on the inside for the next corner. Chris Fierce 28 pushes him all the way to the outside of the track, and it's not possible to get the inside over there. Tries it on the outside. And is he going to do the cutback yet again? And Shouty can benefit of this. Is he going to try it on the inside over here? Yes, he does. No, he does not. Yes, he does. Oh, that is a push to pass as well. Pushes it looks onto the grass. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll have to see this again. And it is the replay. Take a look at this. It starts with Iruk. Irux and Chris Fierce 28. After this long right hander, after the best of chicane, we have this long left hander. Chris Fierce 28 is going to take a white line into it. Irux takes a shorter line, pushes Chris uh, Fierce 28 a little bit wide, but leaves the space on the outside. So that was already a bit naughty. But he's going to leave the space over here. Chris Fierce 28 claims the corner, but has a huge slide and a huge drift over there. And now let's see it from the perspective of Shouty. Irux tries the old switcheroo on him. Is on the outside over here. Chris Fierce 28 pushes him all the way to the outside of the track to make sure he takes the shortest line uh, for Irux to not pass him on the inside. Irux tries it on the outside, tries to cut back yet again over here. Shouty has the better exit compared to Irux for fourth place. Dives on the inside. Irux dive, oh, dives really deep into that corner. And then it's weirdly somehow contact. Because normally you would think Shouty has done enough. He's alongside. And Erux breaks way too late. Or lets go of the break. And dives in front of Shouty. That's why the contact is there. So he closed the gap while, while Shouty was already over there. And Shouty is right now in front. Yeah. And Erux runs a little bit wide over there. Drops back all the way to fifth. Well, all the way to fifth. He was in fourth, of course. But it's in fifth right now. And we can see a battle between Hansman and the Fissit as well, forming up behind. And this is going to be the battle of third place right now, because Dion is gone yet again. And this is going to be the last lap. We have Luan still on the lead. Dion in second. And they're both in no man's land right now. <coughs> Shouty has an opportunity to get onto the podium in the second race. Oh, runs a little bit wide over there. Is that going to be a penalty? We'll have to see. In three, two, one. No, luckily not for him. Can he make that move into the bus up chicane? I believe he has the perfect slipstream right now. Here he comes. Closes up, closes up, closes up. And there's a defensive line from Chris Fierce 28. And he cannot make that move into the bus stop. Who's going to be the fastest? 
Coming in and out of this. Whoa, Shouty takes all the risk. There's a big wiggy 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 bubble over there. That's going to cost him a little bit of time. Any other big changes, big battles behind? Yes, there is. But I can't see anybody crashing. And we're going to see between Houseman and the Visit as well who's going to end up sixth. But let's keep an eye on this battle for now. Let's see if Shouty can make it onto the podium. The champion. With a champion drive, maybe. Well, it's good enough already. Here it comes to the tight right hand, the Chris Fius 28. Who's, who's going to break the latest? Chris Fius 28 breaks late. And Eriks is going to try it on Shouty, but Shouty is probably going to keep the inside. Is he going to dive on the inside? Eriks, yes, he does. And he pushes Shouty wide. Is this, this is the fight for fourth place? Here they're going to go. Shouty runs a little bit wide into the penultimate corner, side by side. Who's going to break the latest over here? Who's going to lift out? Nobody does. And Shouty is still in fourth. Whoa, runs a little bit wide over there. If he gets a penalty, Eriks is going to be fourth. But does he or does he not? No, he does not get a penalty. Whoa, we nearly forgot. We already had Luan finishing first. Then we have Dion coming home in second. Then we have Chris Fies 28 in third. Then we have Shaudi in fourth. Eruks in fifth. Then we have Harosma in sixth. The division in seventh. Fia six is going to end up in eighth place. And Paul Gittituri is going to bring it home in ninth. And then we have Dubbies in tenth. Whoa, sorry about that. Then we have Dutch in eleventh. Number X in twelfth. And Ran with a nice 360. Wow, we want to see that one again. I'm going to give you points for that one. Coming home in 13th. This wasn't your race, was it? Ma, 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 ma. Here he comes with a nice 360. This is an amazing drift. Take a look at that. Perfectly executed. A 9 for you. So at least you get a 9. <laughs> Holy shit, what are two races again, guys? Exciting stuff, especially since it was constantly for second or third place. For third place in the first race and for second place, well, eventually third place in the second race as well. Amazing stuff. But right now we're going to see and take a look at the championship. The championship standings after race number nine and race number ten. Is this the right one? Yes, this is the right one. Good. Very good. This is the right one as well. Well, as we can see, uh, 147 points for uh, Shaudi in total. But with the four worst results, results scrape, it's still 125 points for Shaudi. And he is already the champion. But Irux is second right now. Has a complete total of 107, uh, 107 points. Because he didn't compete in the first two races. And he didn't compete yet in the last two races. And his second right now with a 100, 107 points. Amazing stuff. And that's probably going to give you second place already. If my calculations are correct. You are. Even if Harusma will finish first. With the fastest lap in these two races. He can only gain... Well, he can gain 16 points then and another six so that's another 16 and six wow 22 points no he cannot pass you anymore yes he can just about so that's nearly done second place but then Harosma has to win both races the last two races and a half fastest lap so that's nearly done for second place as well so Harosma in third with 88 points exactly the same points as VR6 has 88 points as well, and then we have Debris drops all the way to fifth right now with 84 points. Then we have Dion with 83.4 points in sixth. Then we have Number X in seventh with 66 points. Still possible for Bill to pass him if Bill competes in the last race, the last two races at least, because he already didn't compete in the last two races as well, so the last four in total. And he has 63 points in 8th. Uh, and then we have Ren. Didn't have his best two races. 6 and 4 points. And has 73 points in total. But with uh, the first, uh, the four worst results scrape. Of course with the last two included. Also on 63 points in 10th. Uh, of in 9th. And then in 10th we have DR3. With 50 points. Total 50 points. 
with his four results, worst results scraped. So there you have it, guys. We have a champion already. We nearly have a definite second uh, runner for a runner up, and there is still a fight for third place between three guys: Harosma, VR6, and Debris, and even Dion. And then we have a fight for sixth place between Number X, Bill, Ren. And maybe DR3. No, that's not possible for him anymore. Maybe, but yeah, will be difficult. So that's it. Join me tonight. Oh, we have to go to this one. Join me tonight at 8 o'clock. We're going to start uh, the second endurance race. We don't know the circuit yet. We know it's going to be with Group 4 cars. I hate those cars. Ugh. But we're going to drive it anyway. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.